We're at GIE in the Ego booth. If you're a professional landscaper, you may be thinking to yourself, how am I gonna power all of this new commercial equipment? Well, we're with the foremost expert. His name is Nick from Ego. I gotta tell you, he's got a solution for you that I'm amazed it could even be possible. What? 96 batteries in one 12 hour period. How does it, can you tell me how it works? You might not even be able to tell me how it works. When you, when you start to convert from gas to battery, you have to be able to plan for enough power for your entire day, right? Yes. It's really important. And so with our solution, um, unlike today's methods, where if you've got to charge a lot of batteries, what are you, what are you using to charge a lot of batteries? I a big charger. Or a, a lot of chargers. Or a lot of chargers. Right? And what's the most common pain point when you're dealing with having to plug in a lot of chargers? Yeah, blowing, blowing tr uh, breakers. Blowing your breaker, right? So when you think about the 15 amp circuit, which is pretty standard in most buildings, yeah. um, your ability to charge lots of batteries using lots of chargers goes out the window pretty quickly. Sure. So how do you solve for that problem? Our system centers around a single charger, okay? One charger gets you started. Okay. Once you're in the door, whether you're a small landscaper or a large landscaper, with few batteries or lots of batteries, our system allows you to scale up. And by that I mean you can add as many smart adapters to our single charger you, that, you, that you need to. Right. And that allows you to charge over, or, over your typical overnight charging time frame, which is usually when most guys will do their battery charging, yeah. up to 96 batteries. 96. So I, I think that when people look at investing in maybe new technology, right? Like, like for instance, I, I, you know, people have called Ego like the Tesla of outdoor power equipment. People don't realize, <laughs> like, I'm buying this vehicle, but then they have they don't figure in how am I going to charge this when I'm at home. Absolutely. And then they incur the cost of having to have an electrician, which I appreciate. Have an electrician come out, wire for this charger, special, you know, special two, 240 circuit. I see, like, what it looks to be three bay chargers. Did I get daisy chains? Can you tell me a little bit more? So off your single charger, once that's plugged in the wall, our smart battery charging ports come in banks of three. Okay. Once you have one of those connected, all three batteries charge at the same time. Okay? Simultaneous, that's awesome. You may not have three batteries, you may have 12 batteries, right? You may have 20 batteries. So you just extend or add to your banks of three in series, so not every three batteries charges together at the same time. So you can charge, in a, in a sense, up to 96 total batteries at one time over an overnight period. Do you have an MSRP? Yes. Can you tell us? The charger itself will be around three to four hundred dollars. Really? We've leveraged out the cost, meaning we've made them simple adapters. Okay, so they're not burdened with all the electronics, right? Heat sinks, all the all the crazy stuff that adds cost to the to the chargers themselves. Those uh, charging ports, although they don't have brains, do they still have like fan cooling? things of that nature or every, every, you know from a from a from a you know withstanding heat to uh, mitigating heat to uh, all those things uh, we've designed these chargers to work in the backs of trailers and trucks whether you work in the high heat environments of Florida or Southern California um, these chargers are, are, are no uh, no no problems I think that professionals want to know that the equipment is going to be as reliable or more reliable than what they're replacing presently and they want to know that their batteries are going to be long lasting. And, and my question is, what sets Ego's batteries apart against the competition? And why, why are these better than maybe a petrol or some type of fossil fuel based solution? When you switch to battery, right, you get rid of the noise, you get rid of the fumes, you get rid of the, the, the mess, the fuss. So a lot of what powers our products and a lot of the claims that we make in the market, the performance, right, is largely based on the battery and how it's constructed. You know, when you compare our battery construction and, and the shape, um, it's it's a little bit larger, a little bit, little bit wider than some other batteries. Yeah. The reason why is because the way that we've arranged the cells are in kind of an arc shape. That's why we call our battery arc lithium. Arc lithium. Okay. By doing that, what you're essentially doing is creating more surface area to be exposed. So when you create cool. more surface area exposed, what do you think happens? We'll be able to, to dissipate the heat quicker, I would assume. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because when you cr when you compress all the cells in stacks and and, to, and put them all tight together, you're you're not allowing for those cells to, to breathe. Sure. Okay. So by by extending that a little bit and by creating that arc shape, you're allowing for more of the surface area to be exposed. Therefore, the opportunity to dissipate more heat 
is much better. And what is the number one uh, killer of all batteries? Every old timer, or even myself, always assumes that it's the cold that kills batteries. But what I was told years ago was that it's the high temps and then it damages the batteries and then the cold exacerbates it or makes it, it makes it appear or shows it, it shows up in the cold because the something, the, tra the energy can't be transferred. I have no idea. <laughs> Luckily we got Nick here to explain it all. There is truth to that. Uh, in, in fact, um, you never want to keep a battery in, in freezing cold. Okay. The reason why is because these battery cells um, have an liquid electrolyte. Okay. And any liquid is bound to freeze, right? Freeze. Okay. So that's why, you know, right around that 30 to 40 degrees Celsius or uh, 40 degrees Fahrenheit, um, you, 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 you really want to bring your batteries in in the winter, keep okay. them in a warmer place. So the piece of advice you're giving anyone that's using any lithium based cell is, or a pack, is to, if you're putting your battery power tools and you're leaving them in the truck overnight in freezing temperatures, don't do that, that's bad. You can look at the manual. All manuals will publish a, a safe operating storage temperature and, and operating temperature, right? Um, the best rule of thumb is keep these in, in a relatively ambient environment. Yeah. That way you can go right to work. I've kind of heard the, the, the story about the software in here and all. My question would be, what can someone expect because these are finite in life, right? Cycles. What can people expect from, from a pack like this as far as discharge, recharge? What can you get out of this? You're gonna see upwards of 2,000 charge cycles on, on these types of batteries. Wow, okay. So what if I'm in a rush, right? I need to charge four batteries. I gotta get my zero turn up and run, running or whatever. Can, can, can I charge maybe three or four more batteries more rapidly than, let's say I have all 96 in place. Like, am I able to do that, or they all have to charge at the same time? They don't have to charge at the same time. In fact, we've got one other nifty solution that we're calling our DC to DC charger. We have a charging solution that is enabled by a large format battery. That large format battery now turns around and is able to recharge your handheld batteries for your string trimmer, your leaf blower. So if you're on the go, right, and you don't have access or a, to, a, to, a, to a power plug, um, if you've utilized all your other batteries, We've got this portable solution so you can literally charge on the go. You know what the funny part is, is that I didn't realize until you just said that, I thought that that was like the charger base. I didn't realize that was, I saw it, but I didn't realize what it was. Would you suggest maybe getting that Ego commercial charger and then using that to charge that DC to DC charger first? Can you put that like in a row or how, how would that work with those additional charges? All of above, you can do whatever you want because the system is designed with flexibility in mind. It's a mix and match, totally customizable system. So I'm seeing it here. So it doesn't necessarily have to go in, but so I saw more DC to DC chargers on that bottom rack and then the, the standard, you know, the, the other three bay units up top. Right. So you build this, you can build this out. You can build it any way you want. Think about it. Trailers all come in different sizes, yeah. lengths, that kind of thing. So to adapt to whatever your spatial needs are. And that's not just necessarily on your on your uh, on your trailer. You may be charging all of your batteries in your in your workshop or in your garage at your home base. We are for the first time integrating IoT capability with all of our commercial charging so, solutions. So what's IoT? So IoT, think of it in terms of being able to control. For example, maybe the priority of your charging, um, the, the time frame of your charging remotely using a sophisticated mobile app that also has uh, fleet management. People don't realize that every one of these batteries fits in every piece of Ego equipment and you don't need a special battery to run a certain piece of equipment. I like, the, I like the ability to be able to move all my batteries around. We've designed our batteries to do two things that we don't see our competitors doing. Number one, we have a, all batteries fit all Ego products. The other thing, um, and this is uh, this is a little bit more a uh, little bit more technical, but going back to the battery construction and how we've designed the the cells in that arc configuration, nobody else can reach the same kind of power out. Uh, and, and by that I mean, right? Everybody knows volts, and we all hear amp yeah. hours. But when we talk about watts, yeah, right, watts out. The true discharge of the of the battery, we've maxed out because of of, of how we've uh, designed our battery, which means nobody can really touch us in terms of that that power that power level. You've done so much with eighteen six fifty cells and maximizing them and getting more watts out than everyone else. What's on the horizon for stack lithium within Ego and in, in this? configuration. Can you tell us anything? There there are appropriate places to be using stack 
lithium. And then there's there's other places where you don't realize the, 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 the true benefits. So there will definitely be a strategic approach for how and where. Okay. And then there's the when. And stay tuned for more on the when. Thank you, Nick. We appreciate your time. Absolutely. Thanks, Vince. Yo, that's going to be great. I'll come back next year. I want to see the stack lithium packs.